Select subtitles to study. India, Hindi, Bharat, officially the Republic of India, Hindi, Bharat Ganarajya, and also known as Hindustan or Bharat within the country, is a country in South Asia. It is the largest country by number of people and seventh largest country by land area. India is a peninsula, bounded by the Indian Ocean on the south, the Arabian Sea on the southwest, and the Bay of Bengal on the southeast. It has six neighbors, Pakistan in the northwest, China, Nepal, and Bhutan in the north, and Bangladesh and Myanmar in the east. Sri Lanka is nearby to the south. The capital city of India is New Delhi. India has the second largest military force in the world and is also a nuclear weapon state. India's economy became the world's fastest growing in the G20 developing nations during 2014, replacing the People's Republic of China. India's literacy and wealth are also rising. According to New World Wealth, India is the fifth richest country in the world with a total individual wealth of $12.6 trillion. However, it still has many social and economic issues like poverty and corruption. India is a founding member of the World Trade Organization and has signed the Kyoto Protocol. India has the fifth largest economy by nominal GDP, the third largest by GDP and is the fastest growing major economy. India is a nuclear power and has the second largest standing military in the world. India has its own space agency and has done various research throughout the solar system, including sending spacecraft to the Moon, Mars, and Venus. India is also a member of the G20 developing nations and has been described as a potential superpower due to its rising economy and increase in global influence. India has the fourth largest number of spoken languages per country in the world, only behind Papua New Guinea, Indonesia, and Nigeria. People of many different religions live there, including the five most popular world religions, Hinduism, Buddhism, Sikhism, Islam, and Christianity. The first three religions originated from the Indian subcontinent along with Jainism. National Symbols The national emblem of India shows four lions standing back to back. The lion symbolizes, shows, displays, power, pride, confidence, and courage. Only the government can use this emblem, according to the State Emblem of India, Prohibition of Improper Use, Act, 2005. The name India comes from the Greek word, Indus. This came from the word Sindhu, which, over time, turned into Hind or Hindi or Hindu. The preferred endonym, the name given to the country by its own people, is Bharat, in Hindi and other Indian languages as contrasted with names from outsiders. History Some of the main classical languages of the world, Tamil and Sanskrit, were born in today's India. Both of these languages are more than 3,000 years old. The country founded a religion called Hinduism, which most Indians still follow. Later, a king named Chandragupta Maurya built an empire called the Maurya Empire in 300 BC. It made most of South Asia into one whole country. From 180 BC, many other countries invaded India. Even later, 100 BC at 1100, other Indian dynasties came including the Chalukyas, Cholas, Pallavas, and Pandyas. Southern India at that time was famous for its science, art, and writing. The Cholas of Thanjavur were pioneers at war in the seas and invaded Malaya, Borneo, Cambodia. The influence of Cholas are still noticeable in Southeast Asia. Many dynasties ruled India around the year 1000. Some of these were the Mughal, Vijayanagara, and the Maratha empires. In the 1600s, European countries invaded India, and the British controlled most of India by 1856. In the early 1900s, millions of people peacefully started to protest against British control. One of the people who led the freedom movement was Mahatma Gandhi, who only used peaceful tactics, including a way called ahimsa, which means non-violence. On the 15th of August 1947, India peacefully became free and independent from the British Empire. India's constitution was founded on the 26th of January 1950. Every year, on this day, Indians celebrate Republic Day. The first official leader, Prime Minister, of India was Jawaharlal Nehru. After 1947, 
India had a socialist planned economy. It is one of the founding members of the non aligned movement and the United Nations. It has fought many wars since independence from Britain, including the wars in 1947 48, 1965, 1971, and 1999 with Pakistan and in 1962 with China. It also fought a war to capture Goa, a Portuguese built port and a city that was not a part of India until 1961. The Portuguese refused to give it to the country, and so India had to use force and the Portuguese were defeated. India has also done nuclear tests in 1974 and 1998. It is one of the few countries that have nuclear bombs. Since 1991, India has been one of the fastest growing economies in the world. Government. India has the most people of any democracy in the world. India's government is divided into three parts, the legislative, the one that makes the laws, the parliament, the executive, the government, and the judiciary, the one that makes sure that the laws are obeyed, the Supreme Court. The legislative branch is made up of the Parliament of India, which is in New Delhi, the capital of India. The Parliament of India is divided into two houses, the upper house, Rajya Sabha, Council of States, and the lower house, Lok Sabha, House of People. The Rajya Sabha has 250 members, and the Lok Sabha has 552 members. The executive branch is made up of the President, Vice President, Prime Minister, and the Council of Ministers. The President of India is elected for a period of five years. The President can choose the Prime Minister, who has most of the power. The Council of Ministers, such as the Minister of Defence, helps the Prime Minister. Narendra Modi became the Prime Minister of India on 16 May 2014. He is the 19th Prime Minister of India. The President has less power than the Prime Minister. The judicial branch is made up of the courts of India, including the Supreme Court. The Chief Justice of India is the head of the Supreme Court. Supreme Court members have the power to stop a law being passed by Parliament if they think that the law is illegal and contradicts the Constitution of India. In India, there are also 24 high courts. Geography and Climate India is the seventh biggest country in the world. It is the main part of the Indian subcontinent. The countries next to India are Pakistan, Bangladesh, Myanmar, China, Bhutan, and Nepal. It is also near Sri Lanka, an island country. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands, a union territory of India, is near Thailand, Indonesia, and Myanmar. India is a peninsula, which means that it is surrounded on three sides by water. In the west is the Arabian Sea, in the south is the Indian Ocean, and in the east is the Bay of Bengal. The coastline of India is of about 7,517 kilometers long. The northern part of India has many mountains. The most famous mountain range in India is the Himalayas, which have some of the tallest mountains in the world. There are many rivers in India. The main rivers are the Ganges, the Brahmaputra, the Yamuna, the Godavari, the Kaveri, the Narmada, and the Krishna. India has different climates. In the south, the climate is mainly tropical, which means it can get very hot in summer and cool in winter. The northern part, though, has a cooler climate, called subtropical, and even alpine in mountainous regions. The Himalayas, in the alpine climate region, can get extremely cold. There is very heavy rainfall along the west coast and in the eastern Himalayan foothills. The west, though, is drier. Because of some of the deserts of India, all of India gets rain for four months of the year. That time is called the monsoon. That is because the deserts attract water-filled winds from the Indian Ocean, which give rain when they come into India. When the monsoon rains come late or not so heavily, droughts, when the land dries out because there is less rain, are possible. Monsoons normally come around July-August. Indian States For administration purposes, India has been divided into smaller pieces. Most of these pieces are called states, some are called union territories. States and union territories are different in the way they are represented. Most union territories are ruled by administrators, called lieutenant governors, sent by the central government. All the states and the territories of Delhi and Puducherry elect their local government themselves. In total, 
There are 28 states and 8 union territories. People. There are 1.4 billion people living in India. In 2023, India passed China to become the world's most populous country. About 65% of Indians live in rural areas or lands set aside for farming. The largest cities in India are Mumbai, Kolkata, Delhi, Chennai, Bangalore, Hyderabad, and Ahmedabad. India has 23 official languages. Altogether, 1,625 languages are spoken in India. Languages There are many different languages and cultures in India. There are two main language families in India, the Indo-Aryan and the Dravidian languages. About 69% of Indians speak an Indo-Aryan language, and about 26% speak a Dravidian language. Other languages spoken in India come from the Austro-Asiatic group. Around 5% of the people speak a Tibeto-Burman language. Hindi is the official language in India with the largest number of speakers. It is the official language of the Union. Native speakers of Hindi represent about 41% of the Indian population, 2001 Indian census. English is also used, mostly for business and in administration. It has the status of a subsidiary official language. The constitution also recognizes 21 other languages. Either many people speak those languages, or they have been recognized to be very important for Indian culture. The number of dialects in India is as high as 1,652. In the south of India, many people speak Kannada, Telugu, Tamil and Malayalam. In the north, many people speak Chhattisgarhi, Punjabi, Bengali, Gujarati, and Marathi, Odia, and Bihari. India has 27 official languages. Its constitution lists the name of the country in each of the languages. Hindi and English, listed in boldface, are the official languages of the Union, Union meaning the federal government in Delhi, Tamil, Sanskrit, Telugu, Kannada, Malayalam, and Odia are officially the classical languages of India. Culture Cave paintings from the Stone Age are found across India. They show dances and rituals and suggest there was a prehistoric religion. During the epic and Puranic periods, the earliest versions of the epic poems Ramayana and Mahabharata were written from about 500 to 100 BCE, although these were orally transmitted for centuries before this period. Other South Asian Stone Age sites apart from Pakistan are in modern India such as the Bambetka rock shelters in central Madhya Pradesh and the Kupkal petroglyphs of eastern Karnataka, contain rock art showing religious rites and evidence of possible ritualized music. Several modern religions are linked to India, namely modern Hinduism, Jainism, Buddhism and Sikhism. All of these religions have different schools, ways of thinking, and traditions that are related. As a group they are called the Eastern religions. The Indian religions are similar to one another in many ways. The basic beliefs, the way worship is done and several religious practices are very similar. These similarities mainly come from the fact that these religions have a common history and common origins. They also influenced each other. The religion of Hinduism is the main faith followed by 79.80% of people in the Republic of India, Islam 14.23%, Christianity 2.30%, Sikhism 1.72%, Buddhism 0.70% and Jainism 0.37%.